Let's do problem number 47. Find all solutions to the following equation. So we have the log base 3 of x minus the log base 3 of x minus 4, and that's equal to 2. So to find all solutions um, to this equation. Okay, so we have a logarithmic equation and we have two logs. So maybe we'll start by combining the logs. Whenever you have the log of a minus the log of b, you can write this as the log of a over b, right? You can divide using properties of logs. That's called the quotient rule for logarithms. So we can start this problem by doing that. So it's log base 3 of, so it's x over x minus 4. And then here we have the 2. So the first step was to use the quotient rule for the property of logs, right? So the minus turns into a fraction. So uh, the subtraction turns into a fraction. Uh, cheesy little rhyme. Cheesy little rhyme. <laughs> um, so now we have to get rid of the log. So there is a 3 here in the base. So what you can do is you can exponentiate. So you put a 3 here and you put a 3 here. And then these cancel and you get x over x minus 4 and then 3 squared is 9. You can always do that, right? Like let's say, let's say we had log base 2 of x equals 4. Then the base is 2, so you would put a 2 here, you would put a 2 here, these cancel, so you get x equals 16. So it works every time, right? Super, super, super powerful. All right, so now we're here, and we're looking for x. So x is on the bottom, so maybe we can multiply both sides by x minus 4 to clear those fractions. So x minus 4, and then x minus 4. So these cancel, so you get x equals, so 9x, and then minus 36. Subtract 9x, subtract 9x, so you get negative 8x equals uh, negative 36. And then divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8, so we get x equals, ooh, it's a fraction, right? So let's see, uh, 4 goes into 36 9 times and into 8 2 times. So our x is equal to 9 halves. So x equals 9 over 2. This is a logarithmic equation, so um, we, should, we should check our answers, okay? So let me go ahead and rewrite the equation. We have log base 3 of x minus log base 3 of x minus 4, and this should be equal to 2. And it's a fraction, so you know the solution is kind of uh, suspect. So let's check x equals 9 halves. Usually you don't get fractions. I mean, it's not common uh, in these problems. So to check, you have to plug it into this original equation. So we have log base 3 of 9 over 2 minus, and then log base 3 of 9 over 2 minus 4. Okay, so, so I'm going to show you something here that's pretty cool. So we're subtracting 4. So the idea is that you want to write 4 in a convenient way. So what you do is you take the 4 and you multiply it by 2 over 2, and you write it as 8 over 2. So it's really minus 8 over 2. And the reason we do that is so it makes the math easier. Watch the next step. Log base 3 of 9 over 2 minus, and then log base 3. So 9 over 2 minus 8 over 2 is 1 over 2. Boom. And that should be equal to 2. So now we use the quotient rule. So this is going to become log base 3 of, and then it's 9 over 2, divided by 1 over 2. And that should be equal to 2. So this is log base 3. So we have 9 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. That's 9 over 2 times the reciprocal, so 2 over 1. Wow, tough problem. And that's equal to 2. The 2's cancel. Oh, this is beautiful. This is really nice because it checks, right? We get log base 3 of 9, and that's equal to 2. And that checks, right? Because 3 squared equals 9. 3 squared equals 9. So checking was harder than solving um, the problem, right? So, uh, wow. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.